Have you heard of Ton 618, the black hole known for many years as the largest in the universe? It's located in a quasar, an incredibly bright and energetic object, with a mass 66 billion times the mass of the Sun and a diameter of 390 billion kilometers. This cosmic monster seemed to be the absolute champion. To give you an idea of its size, it would be possible to line up 11 solar systems inside its dark sphere. But believe it, the story of Ton 618 has changed forever. What was once considered the largest black hole in the universe was surprisingly surpassed. The universe, always mysterious, hides more secrets than we imagine. And now, it was Phoenix, a star's turn to emerge, challenging all our notions of what is possible. Located 8.6 billion light years from Earth, Phoenix A resides in the center of the Phoenix Galactic Cluster, which contains hundreds of galaxies. But what really draws attention is the black hole hiding in the heart of this location. With a mass of 100 billion times that of the Sun and an impressive diameter of 590 billion kilometers, Phoenix A is, without a doubt, one of the largest and most massive black holes known. To give you an idea, this makes Ton 618 look small in comparison, as Phoenix a star is 1.5 times more massive and 1.2 times larger. The giant galaxy Phoenix A, which hosts this colossus, is located in the center of the Phoenix cluster. And the big question is, what made Phoenix a star so massive? One of the factors may be the environment around it. The Phoenix Cluster is one of the largest and most massive known, which provides a vast amount of matter for the black hole to devour. But as we will see, there is still much to understand about how a black hole can grow so large. Are you fascinated by the universe and black holes, but feel lost in the technical jargon? If you want to finally understand these concepts, click the link in the pinned comment and get your copy of the ebook, The Code to Decipher the Universe. The Phoenix A Galaxy, which hosts the immense Phoenix A Star, is an elliptical galaxy with a surprising characteristic. It is generating stars at an impressive rate. The star formation rate in Phoenix A is 740 times greater than that of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Normally, for stars to form, the gas needs to be cold as it is gravity that will gather enough material to cause the collapse and form a star. But what happens in Phoenix A? The galaxy is surrounded by hot gases around its black hole. These gases are so hot that they defy our understanding of star formation. Astronomers still don't know how such a massive black hole can be generating so many stars, since normally such a large black hole would prevent the formation of new stars due to the extreme heat. The answer seems to lie in the balance between the heat generated by Phoenix a star and the cooling rate of these gases, which allows new stars to form. Now, one of the greatest mysteries of the universe. How did Phoenix a star manage to reach such a monstrous size? The age of the universe imposes a limit on the growth of black holes. It shouldn't be possible for a black hole to grow so much in so little time. Could the environment around Phoenix, a star, have helped to accelerate this process? Astronomers are still trying to understand this phenomenon, but it is possible that the Phoenix Galactic Cluster played a crucial role. The interaction with other galaxies and black holes may have contributed to the growth of Phoenix, a star. Furthermore, the fusion of smaller black holes could explain part of its size, but we have never been able to observe a complete fusion between giants like Phoenix, a star. This fusion, if it indeed happened, would likely have generated gravitational waves that would spread through space, something that would be detected by instruments on Earth. These fusions are violent events capable of generating immense disturbances in space-time. As we mentioned, the Phoenix, a galaxy, is generating stars at a rate much higher than our own Milky Way. The great mystery is that normally, supermassive black holes like Phoenix a star would prevent the formation of new stars due to the intense heat and radiation they generate. But in Phoenix, a star, the process of heating and cooling the surrounding gases 
is allowing new stars to form. This has left astronomers perplexed as they never imagined that such a massive black hole could provide such a favorable environment for star creation. The question now is, the more this black hole grows, the more stars it can form. Or is there a limit to this process? We are just beginning to unravel these mysteries. And as new discoveries are made, the enigma of Phoenix, a star, becomes increasingly intriguing. So, what is the future of Phoenix, a star? Is it the largest black hole in the universe? Or is there a limit to the size these monsters can reach? If Phoenix, a star, is truly the largest black hole ever discovered, this leads us to an interesting reflection. Are there no limits to the growth of these cosmic giants? What else does the universe have to offer? Will we one day be able to discover an even larger black hole, challenging all our current theories? The question of the size and growth of ultra-massive black holes continues to be one of the greatest mysteries of cosmology. If Phoenix a star continues to grow, it could become one of the most intriguing and observed objects in the universe. But for now, we continue to explore, trying to understand the true reach of these cosmic colossi. As research on Phoenix, a star, and other black holes advances, it is possible that new discoveries will emerge that challenge our conceptions of the universe. Who knows? One day we may fully understand how these cosmic monsters form and what really stops them from growing even more. The future promises many answers, but for now, we continue to search for more clues, trying to understand how the cosmos works and how Phoenix, a star, may be just the beginning of a new chapter in space exploration.